This time I invite the children forward for a children's message. Don't be messing with my stuff now. Okay. Now, y'all like drinking soda from a can? Huh? Yeah, I do too, so. Uh, you know, it's pretty good. Yeah, you know, when you... You drink soda from a can, though. You kind of have to tilt it up to get it out and stuff like that, right? And it has fizz in it and, you know, stuff like that. Well, if you let it sit there for in a can for two or three days with that top off of it, what happens to it? It gets flat, not any good, doesn't have any fizz to it. You can't gulp it down and make yourself burp. Well, I mean, really. Don't you do that sometimes? Gulp it down and then we could have a burping contest, couldn't we? Yeah. yeah. Probably ought to do that here in church. Should we? Huh? So, well, what happens if you take this can right here and you just go just like this? Oh, what's going to happen? Oh, Why? You're moving. Why? No. Why? What's going to happen? Huh? Oh, what's going to happen? Huh? You ready to open it? Huh? Where are you moving for? Do huh? so you think it's going to spew? You think we ought to open it? Huh? Yeah. What do you think? Yeah. Oh! Didn't do very well, but it spewed, right? Got on me. Well, was that exciting? Huh? Oh, it was. You were moving away. I, I, turn around. And you know what? There's a lot of th exciting things that happened in church today. David, Beth. I mean, you know, and, and isn't that great about exciting things? Well, you know, we don't want to be like that can that I opened first and sit here and get stale, do we? Huh? You know, we need to get excited about, about God. We need, to, we need to be excited that we're in church. We need to spew out like that other can did. You need to shake things up a little bit. I've tried that for years, and it really hasn't worked a whole lot, but whatever. Right? I mean, you know, God wants us to be excited about him. He doesn't want us just to sit around and do nothing. He wants, you know, to be overflowing praise for him. Our hearts should be bubbling with joy like the bubbles that came out of that can. And, and we just sit around sometimes and wait on other people to get excited, don't we? Hmm? Well, that, you know, when you get excited, when one person gets excited, like if I get excited, then the next person beside of me, Kim's going to get excited up there. I can bop Rick in the back of the head and say, get excited, you know? Or if Mary Beth gets excited and starts shouting, is 
is the, somebody beside of her going to do the same thing? Or if somebody raises their hand and says, Praise the Lord. Can you do that? Say, Praise the Lord. Is somebody else going to get excited and do that? We need excitement in this church. We need excitement. We need to see that excitement. That's what God wants us to do. Okay? We don't just need to sit there, you know, play on our phones, not paying any attention to what the preacher's saying or anything like that. We need to really get excited and be excited to come to church and be excited sitting in church, don't we? So in that, that's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do from now on. When, when I hear a good music, when I hear a good song, you know, I get excited. Different things stir different people. That's why we, that's why we need different aspects of stuff in church to get us excited. Okay, so we're going to start getting excited for Jesus, right? We're going to let it overflow, right? Amen. Amen, people. See, I don't want to have to do that. They should just automatically say that like Paula did, right? When somebody says, hallelujah, praise the Lord. There you go. See, we're going to start doing that. So let's pray. Y'all quit flipping your candy and let's pray. Oh, God, may we be so excited that, that, <clears throat> about you that our praise overflows. Amen. And everybody said, Amen. good job.